I'm asking Shame you to get off you. my property. Shame on you. This is this and is stop. church property, man. This is church property where it's I'm not. standing. Shame on you. Building a case, taking up a reproach against your neighbor. All we've ever done is done kind things for you, Matt. I'm gonna keep recording until the sheriff shows up. Shame on you, Matt. Truly shame. Jesus Christ Listen, weeps over your sin. My... And he's gonna judge you, and your knee's gonna bow before him on the day of judgment. And you've preached a false gospel that will not save your wife, it will not save your children, Matt. My, it's a false gospel. It's a gospel that does my wife, not set free My from wife sin. and my children and I are asking you to stop speaking Shame to us, turn around and go the other way. Matt, you're leading them to hell. Richard. I'm asking Richard, you to turn around you are sending your and family go the to other hell. way. Well, that video was shot by a neighbor showing a member of the Church of Wells preaching at him. Now, Jordan Reichenberger says he witnessed that firsthand when he spent five days living at the Church of Wells compound. Now, Describe what's going on there. That's a um, guy in a cult doing cult stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Could you be more specific? <laughs> so, I mean, this seems very aggressive. It is. Um, and that's what you're saying people are subjected to. Yeah. They, they really, really push, like, their indoctrination and how hard you know, you really get to fall for what they're pushing. You said there was a point at which there was a lawn chair and there was a baby mm. in the lawn. How old is this baby? Barely old enough to sit up right by yourself. And what, they were yelling at the baby like that? They, they it, it was like, you know, kind of like that calm, soothing, subdued kind of, you know, mannerism and just saying, you know, oh, you're learning patience, you know, to an infant who's, who can't even understand what she's being told. But weren't there like three or four men, like, you know, the baby's alone crying. Right. The mother just left the baby there. Yeah, how, how, and they're all like... Where's the mother when this is going on? She, she set her down and walked into the kitchen in the cabin uh -huh. at the lumber yard. Uh -huh. And that's when the three men approached the baby. So when, when you got there, how did he look? <laughs> he looked... Uh, he looked bad. I mean... He, I mean, his beard was all unkept, like his hair was a mess. He's wearing like these clothes that are way too big for him. Like, uh, you know, looked like he'd just been doing like yard work for like, you know, 10 hours. And um, they gave him different clothes to put on. Yeah. I think it's weird. And uh, no, but one thing, one big thing was, you know, kind of hit the look on his face. He just looked like, just kind of like, it, there was like a haze over his eyes, kind of, you know, really like dark circles, like around his eyes, like, he looked, uh, I would say, like sleep deprived or like, I mean, he looked bizarre. Like he looked. Well, and I don't know. I, I can't speak for them, of course, and they deny all of this. And then they start questioning every, all your ties to the outside world, right? Mm -hmm. And they start questioning your relationship with your family. Mm -hmm. What did they ask? How were they characterizing these relationships? Um, in general, with like our phone calls, they would, they would say, you know, your family's trying to deceive you. They don't really care about you. You know, look how much, you know, we're caring about you and taking care of you while, we're, while you're here. But as someone that is well versed in the scripture mm -hmm. and knowing that the scripture supports the family, supports honoring your mother and father, supports unification of the family. How did that fit in your ear when they're telling you that, when they're alienating you from the family unit? It, it was, um, you know, like I said, it was difficult to kind of like figure out exactly what they were doing. Um, a lot of this came up in hindsight, realizing, you know, how they were phrasing it and how they were, you know, trying to demonize my family.